I did a video called US Navy Railgun, and in that video it shows a railgun firing a projectile going lengthways across the screen at up to Mach 7. Yet in the footage it looks like the camera is panning around and following the projectile the whole way. Since I made that video I had more than a few people ask the question, how can a camera track a projectile moving so fast? Which is a valid question and I myself wanted to know the answer, so I investigated how it's done. And here's what I found out. The camera filming the projectile works by having a computer controlled high speed rotating mirror in line of sight of a high speed camera. The high speed mirror tracks and follows the projectile, keeping it in the centre of the screen best it can for up to 100 metres, relaying those images back to the camera. Now unfortunately I do not know which camera was used in the filming of the railgun projectile tests. I could not find that information listed anywhere in any video or article. But I did find a couple of cameras that are used for projectile filming, so that is what I will talk about. The first camera is called the Handlin Mini Flight Follower System, which is capable of tracking a projectile for 100 meters or more as the mirror scans a 90 degree arc, while providing high quality images of the objects in flight. This hyperspeed camera system can track any objects small or large, such as a bullet, to a rocket, which you can clearly see is enough to track a hyperspeed projectile such as a tank round. The second camera I found is called the Tracker 2 from Specialized Imaging, which uses the same type of mirror tracking design, but looks different from the Hamlin camera. This particular camera has more of a telescope look to it, but both companies have videos showing how their cameras can track tank projectiles being fired at hyperspeeds. Now it's important to understand, both cameras stay stationary, it's the mirrors that move and track the projectiles. There are other camera brands on the market that have the same characteristics and tracking capabilities, but these two seem to come up the most when googling high speed projectile tracking cameras. Now I did find one other camera system which showed the camera mirrors in action. It was made by Ishikawa Oku Laboratories from the University of Tokyo. They show in a couple of videos how the camera can track a ping pong ball in real time, keeping it centered in the middle of the screen. And like the previous two cameras, the camera stays stationary, while the mirrors do all the work tracking the object. So I hope this helps you understand how footage like this is filmed. I know it helped me. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.